happy to see you in this first ever funding expo. Out of all your schedules, you found time to come and see us and see what is happening here. But with uh, your colleagues, the president, the skills coordinator, I have few questions that I would want to ask you concerning the plumbing industry and also this uh, project that we have. First and foremost, director, how can our plumbing industry support capacity building uh, initiative as part of World Skills Africa? Thank you very much. First of all, let me take this opportunity to thank you as Pasa for organizing uh, this event, uh, especially this time when we are preparing to host World Skills Africa competitions in 2025. As you know, um, also speaking on behalf of Tebeta, we look forward to a situation where the skills levels amongst our youths, in Zambia particularly, come to a level where they can be as competitive as skills that can be obtained in any other country uh, in Africa and beyond. I think for a long time we have had a conference from industry that the skills levels of our people, especially those in the water and sanitation and particularly plumbing, they had uh, a lot of gaps and we have seen people improve skills from neighboring countries. But there is no reason why we should continue to import skills for um, uh, jobs in the sanitation industry, construction industry, especially for skills like plumbing, when we have a lot of young people that are looking for jobs. So it is a challenge that has been bestowed upon all of us to make sure that we give opportunities to our young people to develop skills to the level that will make them enjoyable and acceptable both locally and internationally. So I want to take this opportunity to thank the Plumbers Association of Plumbers to arrange this skills challenge. Because through the skills challenge, people begin to challenge themselves to do the best that they can. But also, I can see here that you have made learners from various training institutions to begin to compete and challenge each other. And in the process, we see a possibility of our young people uh, challenging themselves for purposes of uh, excellence. So this is a very good development, but also I'm impressed that there are even cooperative partners here that are supporting us, which this is the way to go. So how can this help even contribute to employability and ultimately uh, growth in our economy? I think the unemployment levels are too high as we speak now. And the government wants to create jobs, create wealth. That can only be achieved when we have skilled young persons. But in linking this to the opportunity that has been given to them, as you know, our skills is a national, together with the African Union and the African Commission, has given Zambia a privilege to host World Skills Africa in Livingstone come 2025. What that means is that the whole African countries, including the whole world, the eyes now are on Zambia. We can't be a host of a skills competition without ourselves presenting competitors. So from that point of view, I think we would like to support this initiative to make sure that we begin to prepare our youths now so that they compete come 2025. I would like us to see a situation where we have a competitor at least in each and every competition that is going to be staged in Livingston. That way we will not only be just hosts, and who will be competitors as well. But in the process of competing, the, the issue and the objective is not just about competing, 
but to perfect our art. And the process of preparing, the process of competing, will ultimately result in Zambia actually achieving skilled human resource, which is the main objective. Maybe I can there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We'll say it to you directly. Coming to you, the uh, Rabada session of Zambia president, Mr. Chong. Uh, how do you feel hosting this program or maybe this project of plumbing expo and what are the takeaways from this plumbing expo? Yeah, actually, like uh, the director said earlier on, um, as plumber shows, and we discover that uh, it is a skill where even the community can't even recognize fully. And uh, as plumber shows, and we thought we can have. Uh, the planning expo in light of also the skills competition for the preparation of for the world skills 2025 in Livingstone. Uh, for me, we can say, I can say it is a foundation. And uh, this foundation, I think, uh, will change even the mindset of uh, the people in the society and they will see the importance of this industry. You know, like uh, the director said, we, we normally import plumbers from outside of Zimbabwe, South Africa, or we have uh, skill training centers here in Zambia that can provide quality skills with the uh, uh, proper, I can say, advanced professionals. This is the reason why, as plumbers from Zambia, we come up with this idea so that we start, uh, to start developing the skills in our young people in Not only that, also to, to open the mind of the community to see the importance of the industry. Because, you know, plumbing is not only for those who are in, in their homes, but you are also for people uh, in their the, the offices because we are looking at the uh, health and scientific at the same time. Um, World Planting Council, the mother body of the world and planting industry, uh, realized that uh, we need to they need to support planting industry or plumbing industry of Zambia to make sure that the, the association grow by also introducing or linking other stakeholders. This is the reason why we we are very happy to engage the beta to support uh, in schools development, especially in planting. For sure, uh, 2025, as the, the country is going to host Zambia, we need to produce a champion. This champion, I know, may be the one who's going to compete with other, uh, other champions worldwide. So it is uh, another privilege for Zambia to have this opportunity because we are painting a good picture on the world map. So, uh, we just need to have more supporters or maybe more stakeholders to support this kind of uh, skills training. Uh, you know, technology is changing bit by bit. Um, we were talking about the galvanized steel pipe. Today we are now using the PPR, that is plastic pipes. Uh, currently, uh, this is a challenge that we are having now. Uh, our students will be installing the, the whole hand toilets, of which, if you look at our syllabus, um, we don't have that one hand uh, isolation. But this is the thing that we need a beta also to come in and review or maybe upgrade uh, the, the curriculum in the plumbing industry. And we are looking forward to make the beta to ensure that um, uh, we, we push in future to have a diploma. So far, our other countries, they are now uh, doing degree in plumbing. So it means that uh, the industry is very, very important. We need to support it. Because there's nowhere we can find, uh, we can go where there's no water, there's no proper sanitation. We need sanitation, we need health, and we need to be helped in our own way. Because you understand that water is like. Even water utility companies, uh, for them to grow or to sustain, it's possible. The plumber. So that's the reason why we need plumbing industry to grow in our country. For the first time, you know, we are prepared to be safe. Um, in the line of, in the line of uh, commemorating uh, 59 years of independence in this country. So it just come at the right time when we are preparing for the 
Mais les fausses d'amis, on va aussi se répéter chez nous. Thank you so much. Indeed, we cannot be 50, 59 years old, then we still have challenges in climbing. That, will, that is not unacceptable. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Allow me also to ask the uh, skills coordinator to say something. Uh, engineer Field, uh, how do you think these uh, plumbing skills, uh, like the skills that we have, how can we empower the tradesmen, tradeswomen in our, uh, in our country and in the world at large when they start doing these activities? What is your take? How can we empower this? How, how do you think this can be an empowerment to these youths who are from Thank you very much. First and foremost, I just want to thank the Baza Executive Committee for having put in a lot of effort to come up with this initiative, which is very key, not only to Baza, not only to the professional body, but to the nation as a whole. Because it's a contribution to the economic development, uh, job creation, and also escalating, obviously, the, the services the utility services to the community. Uh, plumbing is a very, very critical uh, trade um, in industry. And the, uh, even eliminating to the degree, to me, I feel where it is up to the plumber is sufficient. And the, the demand for plumbers is so high. Everywhere, it's world over. The statistics I review, I've reviewed that uh, the plumbing, the plumber demand is very, very high. And the, the country is crying of unemployment. So the plumber doesn't need a job. It's a job that is a plumber. Because uh, the, the plumber is torn between two things. The demand for the corporate board and the demand for domestic on, at, at personal level. Because as we are seated, we need, with our personal project, we need a plumber. And the corporate board is demanding for it. And the, a plumber also is, there, is, is needed for sustainability. We've got a lot of losses in terms of water. Pipes leaking all over the place. And the why? Because we don't have sufficiently qualified plumbers to maintain. We don't have enough to maintain the pipe. Water. So as a result, we are, we are losing a lot of water. And we are having all these illegal conditions. But with a plumber, a qualified plumber, we should be able to obtain to, 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 to make a, a, I mean, a supply sustainable. And then, to me, this is a wake up call in terms of the, uh, developing the plumbing skills and developing a workforce of plumbers. Uh, not only for the nation, I want to see a day where we are able to export the workforce from Zambia. And where am I looking? I'm looking at uh, look at the world order today. Wars are going all over. Building, you've seen buildings production. They'll need a plumber. Today I'll, one of the things that I would want in the next five years is us as plumbers exporting plum, exporting plumbers to Ukraine, exporting plumbers to Pakistan, to, to Palestine, because they'll need it. The plumbers there are not sufficient. So we need to build the capacity for our nation and also for the entire. We should create. And what are we doing? We are creating revenue for the nation. Because wherever they go, they will still the resources will be coming back. We always cry that our money is going out. Because we employ expatriates. We want to build expatriates from our nation to bring in the revenue. So that's the point. And this is a starting point. And on the aspect of technology, did what I would want also to mention is one point that you mentioned, the, 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 the transition of technology. We are using the pipes now, but technology has changed. We are in plastic. And the, the reason is it's quicker to work with them. There's nothing like threading and everything. Yes. So technology now must how do we handle the tablet sector in terms of the tertiary institutions? Our equipment are dilapidated. Uh, sorry, uh, rather, they, 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 they are obsolete. We are not moving the transition of technology change. So we need to have also transformation in the tablet sector in order to train people with the right skill, with excellence for the nation. So basically, 
this is a, an economic uh, uh, asset that we're building today. And I want to thank the sponsors that have really put in the resources to support this activity. So, thank you very much. So, maybe riding on uh, what you have said, uh, taking this opportunity with the director is here. Maybe what do you think, being given this chance of hosting uh, the World Skills uh, Competition Africa, what are your plans, are your future plans? Do you intend to have another skills competition where you are going to regroup again with other stakeholders or with the competitors so that you can pick now the best competitors who are going to be part of that skills. You being the other coordinator, I'm sure you've been in the right position uh, to give that, uh, that answer. Uh, thank you very much for that question. Actually, uh, in terms of preparation for 2025, we've got a lot for the young people coming. Uh, the first one is the, the national competition, which uh, the DG and the, the, our OD as well, for our skills, uh, is aware. We are trying to prepare for the national skills competition, which should be coming somewhere in March or April, uh, where now we will bring in all the, all the young people in different skills, uh, where we should now be able to start selecting who should compete. Mind you, be before the 2025, we've got one in between. We've got a Lyon in France, 2024, in September, uh, where again we have to choose from the same that should compete. And the reason, the reason why the France competition is very important, it will be a capacity building for all of us in terms of skills management. Okay, so it, it, we want to the institutions like PASA, all the professional bodies to be part and parcel of that because we are going to tap into our Fraser experience to build capacity such that by come 2025, we should be able to reap 90% of the gold medals. Wow. Be so basically, that's what we have Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, maybe uh, the, the, the executive director for Plumbers Association of Zambia, a quick one, as we uh, come to summarize this uh, program. Uh, I want to find out what is your impression about this plumbing expo? Because I know you had a lot of expectations, high expectations. Now, uh, from the overview, what you have seen, according to the people that were expecting and how you expected things to be. What is your take, what is your impression on this planning expo that we have 2023? Okay, first and foremost, I'd like to, uh, to thank stakeholders that came through and uh, supported the whole program, as well as the regulating bodies like Tevet uh, that is here. Uh, this is an indication that we will move a step forward. Now, of course, when we were starting to plan, we had the, a very big expectation. And uh, we, we, we hoped that we were going to have a lot of exhibitors from the suppliers and manufacturers. But that not being the case, we, we feel that we have still met our objective. Yeah, because um, we have seen the government has supported us. Yeah, then, like I, I indicated, the regulating bodies. Yes. So having 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 the data come through, having EIZ come through, having the GIZ come through, well it's not completely a miss, but to pick up some learning uh, lessons from here to see how we can polish up and do better than we've done this time around. But we appreciate and we're very positive that going forward we'll do much more. Thank you so much. I had a very good panel today. I had the uh, engineer Field, who is the skills coordinator for Plumbers Association of Zambia, and also the president for Plumbers uh, Plumber Association of Zambia, and having a privilege sitting with the director, Tebet, who is also in charge of skills. Yes, which is a very good one, and also executive director for Plumbers Association of Zambia. Thank you so much for coming to this interview, and we know that we are heading somewhere. With all what you have said, I know the people out there, they are able to understand where Plaza and the, 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 the people that we are working with, especially Tevet, we have GIZ, and many other organizations that have come to support this program, we are heading somewhere. Thank you so much. See you next time.